doesn't look like it leads to a house. Should we check it out? Yeah, we should check it out. Here in Tegucigalpa, Honduras, at the hostel. Yesterday, I don't think I showed his face, but I ended up meeting a guy at a gas station who stopped and uh, approached me and was like, dude, love the bike. Um, we started chatting and he, he said he was gonna introduce me to the best mechanic around and um, that he rides enduro around here and yeah, <laughs> so he's gonna meet me over at the mechanic shop and just introduce me to the guy, and uh, so we'll we'll see what that's all about. But it's it's not far away; it's like a, literally a minute away, and uh, get my baby girl healed up. Oh, it looks so, just looks so bad with that oil plug like that. It just looks like men. It's like I'm not taking care of her. <laughs> I am uh, been a little bit rough on her, but still, oh. Also, yeah, the plan in, uh, here in Tegucigalpa is to do a significant amount of, a significant amount of maintenance on the bike. I'm, I'm actually gonna ask this guy if he can check the valves and um, just make sure we're good, make sure we're good to take this thing back to the States. Let's, uh, let's go to the shop. Well, I guess I'm a bit early, but it looks legit. Got a KTM Husqvarna logo on there, so Dunlop. Even an Enduro engineering sticker. Nuevecitos. <laughs> huh? Danny? <laughs> Now um, we're just looking for the uh, oil cap. It's a really cool spot. It'll definitely seems like they've got a lot of business here and they uh, know what they're doing. <laughs> really happy I met Danny last night in the uh, gas station to, sh to bring me and literally introduce me to the owner. And they've got a KTM performance parts cover. So we're just, but we're just checking if they got a cheaper one because if not, I'll just get the performance one. It's bright orange, so if I lose it, it'll help me see it better. Alrighty, guys, just met the owner. It is popping here in Honduras. We gotta let this, uh, we got some traffic. I'm trying to get this bike fast. I think it worked pretty good guys like there's no there's no marking on that you know got the bike turned in I'm very much past very much past the time when I should check my valves but the bike starts up so good you know it it feels good I like talking to that mechanic and I think it's yeah it's it's due for it he told me three days and they've got all the parts so if they do need to make any adjustments on the shims they can so crazy how everything works out right when I was there I must have seen like four super nice trucks come and drop nice nice Kate you know 300s Husqvarna uh, gas gas uh, trials bike there's a movement movement going on I saw a triumph a big motorcycle and then a triumph so um, the main mechanic who owns it's two businesses William owns the mechanic shop and then right next to it the parts store is a uh, Walter so I wanted to show you guys this hostel 12 bucks a night and uh, it's big it's massive but look at this look at this deck how cool it is you come up there 
We've got some hammocks right here, little bridge, and then a fun little spot in here. I think I'm gonna do some work right here on the computer. Um, I wanted to show you guys this. Here's the oil plug that saved me yesterday. Able to get a plug, an oil plug. It was kind of expensive, but gotta, <laughs> it's gotta have the most basic part, right? Can't have a hole in your engine. I'm in a weird spot right now because I like, I kind of want to keep this just because, just for like the memory of it. Just because I think it's hilarious and cool, but I, I won't. But I still haven't thrown it away yet, so. But anyways, I'm just, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of how it, how it ended up working out. Another thing I did guys for like 15 bucks, I got a new lens for my goggles. <laughs> they were like kind of looking at my goggles and they're like, why, why don't you just get a new pair of goggles? I'm like these still work. These work good. It's just the lens. This is, so this is, uh, this is what my lens was looking like. It's all cracked right here, you can see. So it's kind of ridiculous like how much clear, it, it's it's ridiculous how, how nice it is to look through this. <laughs> Not a single scratch. I don't think you can see it on the camera. I don't think it's coming out. It's just, there you go. Now you can see it, all the scratches in there. Also, I kind of just sat down here and just took a little bit of a nap. <laughs> I'm just so tired from the past two, three days. I think it was a lot of stress as well. The tires and that oil cap just ugh, hard. So I'll take a nap and just kind of relax a little bit. Then I'll get to work. <laughs> Save it. They just called me and said the bike was finished. It is so funny today because uh, today's like the last day and the day he told me they would give it to me. And uh, <laughs> he starts sending me all these pictures. The first picture he's doing, uh, he's checking the valves. Uh, says that valves are good. And I told him I want to get a wheel bearing done. So he sends me a picture of my whole swing arm practically taken off. And I was like, oh, okay. I just wanted the wheel bearing, but okay. He's like, and then he doesn't say anything. I was like, I text him out. I was like, I just want the wheel, but okay, whatever. And then he sends me a picture of my, my triple clamps separated. And the, the whole stem, my, my forks, my forks off and my triple clamp all loosened up and bike all opened up and there and I was just like okay I definitely didn't ask for that then he sends me a picture so I, I don't the trail tech has not been working for a long time kind of since maybe halfway down through Panama it stopped working I told him if you have time just see if you could check to see why the trail tech's not working so he sends a, a video a picture of the, the trail tech working <laughs> and then anyways he says bike's done I was like okay how much, you know, how much do I owe you? Can I, can I pay with card? He's like, no, you can't pay with card. Um, you can do a transfer. I don't have obviously the e-transfer that they use here. He's like, or you could use cash. And I was like, dang, when I got into Tegucigalpa, for some reason, my car, my debit card is not working here in Honduras. It hasn't been working at all. And so guess how much he asked for? <laughs> guess how much money he asked for? It was a whopping hundred dollars is uh, what he asked for. And I, and I believe they did an oil change. He asked for a hundred bucks. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is, this is just a miracle. This is like too kind. This is, I was just blown away by that. I, no way they're charging me a hundred bucks. That's way, way too cheap. Just even parts alone. So I kind of feel like maybe someone's trying to help me out over there. I did talk to the owner the day I got here, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of leery. I wonder if he put him up to it, like, hey, freaking make this bike run good or something. I don't know, but a hundred bucks just seems way too, 
cheap, but um, I still didn't have that money. So I just went to a gas station, uh, a different gas station this time because the other one was too far away to walk to and they close here in a little bit. So I was like, oh gosh, I'm an idiot. <sighs> went to a gas station, asked the guy, I'm like, hey, I'm a foreigner. My debit card's not working here. I can't pull out any money. Can you help me? You know, if I just give you a tip. And he's like, oh yeah, how much you want? I was like, as much as you give me. He's like, how much you want? I was like, uh, 5,000 limpiras. He's like, all right. He's like, I'll do it in two transactions. Gave him my credit card and then gave him uh, four bucks tipped. And this is the building right here. Bien bonitos estos, no? Uy. Nuevecito. Wow, wow, no, no he visto eso tan limpio en mucho tiempo. Wow. 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 No, no, wow. Eso, eso estaba muy, muy mal también. Ocupaba grasa. Aquí. Sí, grasa. Eh, no, grasa ahí. Pero la palinera sí está buena. Sí. Oye. Está funcionando. Hermano, 100, 100 dólares me parece muy barato. Yo creo que eso es mucho favor. Eso es mucho favor. Agradezco mucho, se ve muy bien. Pero prefiero la moto, ¿qué? Con la moto, igual. Voy a separar con los equipos. Hermano, muchas gracias de nuevo. Gracias por todos a ayudarme. Y... Uh, nuevecito. Ah, para que veas, para que regrese. <risa> Solo estoy de paso. Está bien, por la próxima. Tiene su cambio. Gracias. Muy bueno, amable. Estamos a la orden. Ya para cerrar, ¿verdad? Ya vamos ya. a cerrar. Sí, a descansar sí. un poquito, ¿no? Así es. <laughs> Gracias. Oh, right, my dudes. This seemed like a good place to pull over. Some sort of random, just a little turn in this neighborhood. Guys, I just, I've got to film this before it gets too dark. I am so impressed. I'm so impressed with the work. I was, they wanted $100 for this. Changed my oil filter, cleaned and oiled my air filter, completely detailed the bike. I'm talking like it hasn't looked this good. Look at, look at how clean this is. This is, this hasn't been this clean. Look at the case. Look at the color of the case. It's just like, look at all the plastics, all the hoses. It's all glistening. <laughs> clean oh man even in the in the in the hubs too the hubs have completely got their color back on both sides look at this warp 9 cush drive hub is, is like so happy right now <laughs> oh my gosh anyways i just ended up giving them everything that i got from the gas station so um, I gave him 5,000 limpiras which i think is around it's around 200 bucks so he asked for 100 bucks we gave him double and they were very appreciative of that. They were really kind, really appreciative. Just they were all smiling when I when I did it. And I told them, yeah, get you know, get some drinks, get something. I had it recording, but the angle wasn't super good. Highly recommend. I'll put the name of their business um, right here as well. Oh yeah. So the other things I did. So oil change, new oil filter, um, completely detailed the bike. All new wheel bearings, even on the Cush Drive, has its own little set of bearings as well. All new. The front tire had the original bearings since when I bought it in 2021. So we replaced those. Everything's been greased. He took out the rear suspension, took off the swing arm, and he and checked the uh, bearings on the swing arm, cleaned those, greased them. All of these bearings got greased up. So top and bottom, you can see, ouch, I just burnt myself a little bit. You can see the bottom, a little bit of grease right there. And then to top it all off, guys, they found and fixed the problem with my trail tech. Look at it, it's working. It's charging, so when I, the bike's running, it'll charge. And they said it was a pinched, it was a pinched wire. 
um, kind of near the gas underneath the gas tank and um, yeah it just that's why it wasn't charging it got it got pinched somehow um, what else like I've had places where just an oil change it charges me a hundred bucks so this is just like above and beyond and yeah um, I'm really happy with how this turned out and um, it's also really cool and one of the reasons I want to share this with you guys is just so you can see that there's amazing mechanics all throughout Central America Mexico if you have a KTM if you have a Husqvarna if you have um, an adventure bike I saw it when I got there he was working on a Triumph a bigger um, style Triumph there's work there's there's mechanics there's people that can help so um, the, the like mystery that it's just like impossible to get help yeah it's not gonna be as you're not gonna have just dealerships everywhere obviously is but there's help there's help for sure and yeah I'm just so happy about it oh oh I forgot to say and they checked the valves and he checked the valves this is also my new KTM uh, power sports oil oil cap <laughs> would have been better to have a Takamoto one but uh, <laughs> I'm very happy obviously with that as well so anyways wow super happy also got my uh, some clothes washed my pants and my sleeping bag uh, washed as well it smells amazing I'm not gonna try to tell you what it smelled like before but it it needed it so lots of housekeeping done here in, Hond in Honduras guys in Tegucigalpa um, sun's going down I'm gonna go to the hostel and uh, get some work done and we'll probably uh, um, roll out tomorrow so uh, tomorrow's Sunday go to church and then after uh, hit the road so unless something happens this is probably the last thing for until tomorrow so see you guys tomorrow Alrighty, my friends, good morning. Sorry, it's really bright. I'm gonna try to start maybe about a three day, three to four day expedition of camping. So it's uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of boondock and a lot of camping and uh, I think it'll be very interesting to watch. So I'm getting ready to throw these bearings away and just wanted to show them to you guys before, just for people who are curious. I know I am kind of curious, but I mean, literally the front, the front, those are original. Those are the original 2021 wheel bearings. But this is a, this is what they all look like. There's a rear spinning pretty good. Feels actually pretty, really good. Here's a, oh, that one's bad. This is bad. This is like barely moving. No free, no free spin at all. That one's not terrible, but anyways, that's what the bearings look like. To leave to go to Galpa, it's been a great time. Got to explore the city a little bit. And even better is that I feel like I'm leaving with like a brand new bike. We are going to the mountains. We're going up north, I think it would be. We're going towards La Ceiba, although we're not gonna get to La Ceiba today. And I don't even think I'm gonna, I'm not really planning on going there, but I just really wanna get a good idea of what the geography is like. And so it's not like we're going to like some specific spot, but I've kind of just looped it around to where I can kind of cover most of the, uh, like the general extremities. I don't know what the word would be. Um, and just get a really good feel for what Honduras is like. So. Um, the plan is to camp out today, so anyways, let's uh, let's get on the bike. Bueno, gracias, hermano. I keep forgetting things. I was on my phone, I was looking at the map, and then I, I was like, I'm all ready, but I realized I forgot something else. AirPods. These babies are a game changer. Uh, one, to protect your ears. It's the noise reduction. Slip this guy on right there. Sometimes they kind of get loose, so you gotta push it. So you got the noise reduction aspect, but then all obviously as well, you got music. And I try not to listen to music all the time, actually. Assertive, I think, is the best way of putting it. Assert your dominance. Motorcycles in the middle. Single lane, each side. 
your motorcycle, that's the middle, that's your lane. <laughs> but all four of us just pass it through. fastest way to travel in, uh, anywhere. Motorcycle, guys. This area, guys, we're getting, getting up in the hills. It's it's so nice. It's, it doesn't, may not look super cold, but like, Tegucigalpa here, significantly, significantly cooler. And so right now, Valle de Los Angeles, it's, it's been recommended to me by about four people, three, four people. So I'm pretty optimistic for it. And I think it's just a little town up in the mountains up here. And I actually got, uh, it's funny because there's actually two girls from my hostel that uh, invited me to, to join them up here today as well. So we'll... First ride, guys, with the, uh, the new lenses. Girl, these, these are, sometimes you gotta get something new to realize how, uh, how bad you had it. <laughs> this is like night and day difference. It's so refreshing, honestly. Almost feels like my eyes aren't like working as hard. We're in the pine trees. We are in the pine trees. Possibly got a little fancier and fancier as we've been driving through the mountains here. It's beautiful. It feels incredible. It's so refreshing. That nice cool air. Uh, but yeah, I've seen some really, really fancy houses and Alrighty friends, just said uh, goodbye to my friends. We had some food, nothing crazy. But uh, yeah, I talked for like an, uh, two hours. I met them, uh, they're actually in the hostel with me in Tegucigalpa. So that was pretty fun, but we're in the center of town. And we'll kind of just show you guys around and then we're gonna take off and get some riding. I'm, I'm like itching to go ride, so. This is where we ate at, Comedor Maria. There's my baby girl right there, ready for the adventure. <laughs> Time to bounce on out of here. The town is cute, it's charming. I don't, I don't think it's like the end all be all, but it's a nice, nice little spot. Go uh, grab some gas, top up off of, on gas, and go find somewhere to sleep. The day's kind of caught up to me already, sadly. You can tell though that it's a nice area. Like people are all walking around everywhere. You can tell it's a very safe, calm, peaceful area. And I love being up in the pine trees as always. Oh, gasolina. Let's go on the shady side. ¿Qué tal, hermano? Gracias, hermano. Gracias. This is showing me that this is my road. It's like the third time I've uh, done this in Honduras where I hold money out of my 
credit card. Debit card is not working. This is our road. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't think this is a uh, travel too much. spinning. Good deal, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. This might not be a good idea. This is like going straight up. Straight up the mountain. <laughs> hmm. We gotta go with that. Sir, bad line. There we go. This is easy. state of my tire. That baby's bald. Ooh, baby. What a view, what a view. Ooh. It's a little smoggy, but still, it's, it's, it's pretty. Got someone in front of us. See their dust. Really dusty. this little inviting little spot here. Doesn't look like it leads to a house. Should we check it out? Yeah, we should check it out. We haven't really rode enough though, guys, to be calling it a day. It's a little too early to be. It's too early to be thinking about looking for, I mean, it's 4.06. super hard to get back up. If I went down that, 
that'd probably be a pain to get back up. So we're not gonna do it. Just gonna walk around. Not hurt to walk around a bit. I mean, after this, we're going downhill. Yeah, we're dropping elevation. We're right on the edge of La, La Tigre National Park, guys. I think, I think we try to, we might try to make something in here work because I'm gonna sleep really good in this. I didn't get that far though. That means tomorrow's gonna be a big day. I didn't get far at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's 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 go look. Let's go see. <laughs> it was a joke, guys. It was a joke. I knew it was gonna. I knew it wasn't gonna work. That's good enough. Some sort of trail through there. Yeah. There's not really anywhere flat, guys. It's all pretty steep. This is where I wish I had a hammock. And when I go back home and we get ready for the next adventure, I'm bringing a hammock with me. Right here is honestly the best spot. This right here, the bar wires. Oh yeah, move that over a bit. Right in here. Guys, I think we wanna send it. We're gonna send it right here. <laughs> it's a little early. Probably got two hours of light. Probably got an hour and a half of light, but um, when I'm looking at my map, we're getting closer to kind of a bigger town, maybe in like an hour, start hitting the outskirts of it. So I think, uh, I think we're going to, we're going to do this one and I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Motorcycles taking all the prime real estate for the tent, so I'm gonna push it down a bit. <laughs> There's a pine cone. <laughs> that ain't bad at all, guys. That ain't bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> 